the final problem we are going to discuss under mathematical analysis of iterative algorithm is finding the number of digits in a binary equivalent of a decimal number that is you will be given with a decimal number first you have to convert that into a binary number then you have to count the number of digits present in that binary number and you have to return the digit i'm going to explain this with an example consider 10 is going to be the given decimal number first we convert this into a binary equivalent we know how to convert a decimal number into binary number repeatedly you have to divide the decimal number by 2 and you have to consider the remainder now when you divide 10 by 2 you will be getting 5 and the remainder is 0 repeat this division until you are getting 1 so when you divide 5 by 2 you will be getting 2 and the remainder is 1 and when you divide 2 by 2 you will be getting 1 and the remainder is 0 so the binary equivalent of 10 is 1010 0, 1, 0, base 2 the number of digits is going to be 4 this is what we want as the result so before writing the algorithm we have to consider one note that is if the decimal number is one then the binary equivalent is also then the binary equivalent is also one so the number of digits is also one so we are going to write the algorithm so always the algorithm starts with the keyword algorithm and binary digits it's going to be the algorithm name and description we are going to count the number of binary digits in the given decimal number and input and decimal number num and output written count so we are going to consider this case as the base case if you are giving the decimal number as 1 we need the digit to be returned as 1 so always we want the count to be 1 as the initial state then if if you consider 10 10 is given and we are storing that 10 in num so what we are going to do now we are storing num is equivalent to 10 what we are going to do we are going to check this num is greater than 1 or not if it is going to be 1 we are going to return count is equivalent to 1 otherwise what we are going to do is we are going to divide 10 by 2 and we are going to consider the remainder that is nothing but 0 and we are going to take the remaining number 5 for second iteration so same thing we are going to do before dividing we have to increment the count by 1 now we have to divide the num by 2 and we have to take the lower bound this means if you are getting the result as 2.5 for example it will consider only 2 the integer part of division is considered for the second iteration for this example you consider initially when we take number 10 10 is greater than 1 so now it enters so before starting the count the count is initialized to 1 and the number is 10 so it enters the loop and checking the condition 10 is greater than 1 and we are performing incrementing the count count now becomes 2 and number is divided by 2 you are getting 5 so once again it enters into the for loop I mean while loop and 5 once again check with 1 now the count is incremented to 3 and the number division after we are getting is 2 so once again it gets in the while loop 
and now number is 2 and check with the condition it is greater than 1 now count incremented to 4 and the number becomes 1 and when it comes number is 1 and we are checking the condition 1 is greater than or equal to 1 the condition fails so it comes out of the while loop and we are returning the count now we can see the count is going to be 4 that is what we got in the example so this is the way the algorithm works and now we do the analysis and uh, always we try to write summation formula for iterative algorithm here we are not having any summation, summation formula we are having a while loop with a condition but each time when the while loop get executed the number is decremented by 2 instead of 1 so whenever the summation formula or some kind of increment and decrement happens above the value of 1 we have to write that in log form log n and the value in difference so this is going to be the t of n for this algorithm i tell you one more if you are having a situation like this i is incremented or decremented by 4 or something then you have to write like this 4 i mean n to the base 4 similarly here the number each time get decremented by 2 so we are decrementing i mean we are writing like log n to the base 2 thank you